When you have a problem that considers the terms of an arithmetic series, consider thinking about uh, the arithmetic mean, which comes out of the series. If you look at any three consecutive terms in the series, then the middle term, twice the, the value of the middle term, will be the sum of the two terms on opposite sides of it. In this case, we have an increasing arithmetic series of three two-digit numbers. So we have A is less than or equal to B is less than or equal to C. And using this property with the arithmetic mean, we have that twice the value of our middle term is going to be equal to the sum of the two other terms. Writing this without the place value, let's collect the terms with a coefficient of 10 on one side of the equal sign. When we do that, we see that this term on the left, left hand side where all the variables are integers, we see that that is a multiple of 10. Let's see if we can further limit the values that can be held by 2c minus b minus d. Our variables are all digits, so they have to be between 1 and 9 inclusive. So 2 times any of these variables is going to be between 2 and 18 inclusive. Taking the negative of this chain inequality, adding these two chain inequalities, we have 2c minus b minus d is between negative 16 and 16, and it's also a multiple of 10. So now we're just limited to three values for this expression, negative 10, 0, and 10. Returning to our original equation here, this means that the corresponding values of a plus c minus 2b will be negative 1, 0, and 1. So let's do casework on these three values. We'll take where the values are equal to 0 as case 1, this is case 2, and this is case 3. We have both of these equations are set equal to 0. Why don't we choose various values of a and b, and then solve for c, and then using that value, solve for d. We'll complete this table for various values of a and b. We'll start with a and b are equal to 1, and we can quickly fill out the, the remaining two columns. C is 2 minus 1 is 1. D is 2 minus 1 is 1. But we need this to be an increasing series, so this is not valid. We'll go to 1 and 2. 4 minus 1 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. And that is our first valid four-digit number, 1 and 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. Here's our next one. 8 minus 1 is 7. 14 minus 4 is 10, which is a two-digit number, so that's invalid. Two, 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Again, we're going to ignore now where um, A is equal to B because we're going to get all four values the same and it won't be increasing. 6 minus 2 is 4. 8 minus 3 is 5. There's our next one. 8 minus 2 is 6. 12 minus 4 is 8. 10 minus 2 is 8, 16 minus 5 is 11, that's invalid. 8 minus 3 is 5, 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 3 is 7, 14 minus 5 is 9. 12 minus 3 is 9, 18 minus 6 is 12, invalid. 10 minus 4 is 6, 12 minus 5 is 7. 12 minus 4 is 8, 16 minus 6 is 10, not valid. 12 minus 5 is 7, 14 minus 6 is 8. 14 minus 5 is 9, 18 minus 7 is 11. 14 minus 6 is 8, 16 minus 7 is 9. 16 minus 7 is 9, 18 minus 8 is 10. 18 minus 8 is 10, and we can stop here. Zooming out. We count how many numbers we generated from case one, and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's turn to case two. Solving our first equation for D, since C is greater than or equal to B, this expression on the right is strictly greater than 10, which is invalid for D. No numbers generated from case two. Let's go on to case three. This is when 2C minus B minus D is equal to 10, and A plus C minus 2b is equal to 1. We'll do the same thing, pick various values of a and b and solve for c, and then use that to solve for d. Let's create another table. We'll start with a and b equals 1, c is equal to 2 minus 1 
plus 1 is 2. D is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 10. That's a negative number invalid for a digit. 4 minus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 8 minus 2 is 6 minus 10 is also negative. 6 minus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 12 minus 3 is 9. 8 minus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. 16 minus 4 is 12 minus 10 is 2. And that's our first valid number. 10 minus 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 20 minus 5 is 15 minus 10 is 5. Oh, but this is invalid because this is a two-digit number. Oops. 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4 minus 10 is negative. 6 minus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 10 minus 3 is 7, another negative. 8 minus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 14 minus 4 is 10, and that's 0. So our next valid number, 10 minus 2 is 8, 9, 18, 13, 3. Another valid number. 12 minus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11, invalid. 6 minus 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 8 minus 3 is 5, again negative. 8 minus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 12 minus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, subtracting 10, another negative number. 10 minus 3 is 7, add 1. 16 minus 5, 11, subtract 10, and another valid number. 12 minus 3 is 9 plus 1. 20 minus 6 is 14 minus 10, 4. Another valid number. No, not valid. Sorry, it's two digits. 8 minus 4 plus 1 is 5. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 4 is 6 plus 1. 14 minus 5 is 9 minus 10. 12 minus 4 is 8 plus 1. 18 minus 6 is 12 minus 10. And that's our next valid number. 14 minus 4 is 10. That's 11. 10 minus 5 is 5 plus 1. 12 minus 5 is 7. 12 minus 5 is 7 plus 1. 16 minus 6 is 10. That makes 0. And our next valid number. 14 minus 5 is 9 plus 1. 12 minus 6 plus 1 is 7. 14 minus 6 is 8. 14 minus 6 is 8 plus 1. 18 minus 7 is 11. Leaves us 1, so another valid number. 16 minus 6 is 10 plus 1. Too big. 14 minus 7 plus 1 is 8. 16 minus 7 is 9. 16 minus 7 plus 1, that's 10, too big. 16 minus 8 plus 1 is 9. 18 minus 8 is 10, our next number. And uh, I think that's it. 18 minus 8 is 10, so we can't go bigger than that. Let's count up all of our valid solutions for the case 3. Counting, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 valid numbers from case 3. Adding together our two cases, we have 9 plus 8 is 17 valid numbers.